So, y'all are probably wondering where I've been at. But, uh, I've been out doing stuff. Uh, but, uh, I got sick and got influenza A. The flu. It's been real bad. But, I promised you guys a video a while back about dry ice. And this is it. Uh, it's kind of a long video. So, what I did is I went down, go down to the bottom, uh, where the description is. And it'll have... Uh, each part of the video and you can just go to that timeline because it's like 54 minute video or something it's a long video uh, it is entertaining all the way through some of it does get slightly boring but there's always funny parts in there like Neil Sphere goes flying off and I have to chase it and stuff blows up so anyway that's it keep it real keep me in your prayers let me get better uh, I've had time to uh, now that I feel slightly better it's been like five days feel a little better I edited that video for you guys and uh, here it is enjoy hello boys and girls of the world today is a special day it's kind of a rare day today I get dry ice I usually buy this uh, yeah I'm holding it with my fingers no it's not freeze burning me yes it will if I hold on to it longer nobody believes me mmm mmm yeah it's dry ice so here's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna have some fun with dry ice. I've never used dry ice and electricity together, so I'm gonna do some high voltage, I'm gonna do uh, some pulse coils, I'm gonna freeze some magnets, but first, my favorite thing to do with dry ice, blow something up. So let's go do it. Alright, so this video might be kinda long because I'm gonna do all sorts of experiments with dry ice, but first, the thing I love to do, if you have never seen this, take a bottle, put some dry ice in it, it expands, the expansion creates heat, and the heat melts the plastic and the bottle explodes. Now what I found out is that if you fill these two liters, I'm in America so this is a two liter bottle, if you fill it up to that little mold line right there, maybe just a hair over that, hot water especially is even better, put some dry ice pellets in it and boom. Now it snowed today, check it out, a little bit on the ground, so I'm going to see what kind of creator, a creator, a creator, a, a creator! See what kind of crater, I can't say that word, is going to happen in the snow. And then later, because I'm kind of in the city, so it's not real good to do, later, if I have some left over, and I will, I'm going to pile a bunch of snow around it and see how much snow we can make go flying. So, uh, let's do it. All right, one more thing I want to say real quick is that if you've never seen my old videos, because I have a lot of subscribers lately that have been forming, so that's awesome. Thank you, everyone. If you haven't seen my older videos, I do a lots of crazy things. Some of them are crazy. Some of those are fun. But uh, I blow up some stuff with uh, dry ice, uh, and I launched a basketball over, over 100 foot through the trees and stuff, so go watch those videos if you haven't seen it. Let's go do this. Okay guys, I had a small delay. I had to go tell my hundred year old neighbor she was outside shoveling snow that there might be a small boom. So yeah, I'm putting the dry ice in there right now. Can you see me? Alright, hold up. Alright, dry ice is in. As soon as this is over, I'm going to run inside. Cause they'll be looking for me. Here we go. Takes a little time. And it'll start stretching. There it starts stretching. really loud, we don't break no windows. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a good one.
Never done one in the snow. Come on, baby. Scared the crap out of me. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's a crater right there. Check that out. There's the size of the bottle. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. That was fun. That was great. I had to literally go over and tell my 100 year old neighbor that there was going to be a boom. So she went inside. She was shoveling snow. She's like 98. Okay, check this out. It's pretty cool. One thing you can do with dry ice is make some noise. That is some cold stuff. Uh oh. Hear it? Get you a better view. You don't need to see me. I love making noise. Oh, it broke. And one really cool thing about dry ice is that you can just throw it anywhere you want and shatter it like this. Yes! And guess what? It's all gone because it's dry. Alright, throws my first my spoon. I think it'll stick to my tongue. Let's try it. Uh-huh. It's off my tongue. That's gonna hurt. Yes, I am a mad scientist. Let's do some other electronic things now. Okay, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a magnet and I'm going to freeze it, right? And then I'm going to see if we can get it to hover. I think it's supposed to hover over steel. Maybe it's another piece of liquid nitrogen, but you're supposed to use liquid nitrogen for this, but I don't have it. This is like 300 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, this is like negative 180 something, and, and that stuff's like negative 380 something, so I'm a little off. But I'll try it anyway. So I'm going to let a magnet sit in that stuff, and we'll do something else in the meantime. Okay, there you guys go. That's my magnet. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit in there and freeze for a while, and uh, then we'll pull it out of there and try some experiments with it. We'll do this with some neospheres, see if we can get them going faster on our pulse motors. I'm actually gonna see if we can get it to hover because this puts out little bitty air molecules. And what that means is that you can get the surface of this to push off like an air and it would float. I'll go show you that. You gotta have a good flat surface. Set it on there and let it get a flat spot. And then check it out. It just floats. So basically, if I can get my neodymium sphere magnet to float inside of one of these, then I can get my pulse motor to run at a super high speed. There's a crack there. But yeah. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Woo! And again, the best part about dry ice. Oh, all gone. Ha! Ah, I love this stuff. Let's go do some more. Okay, guys, I got my star chalice coil. This is still set up for my 500,000 RPM. And uh, I'm just going to pack it here and let it kind of get cold because this coil always gets hot. It's not anymore. 
So uh, let's do that, and then I'm going to get a piece. Try to get my Neo Sphere to sit in it. It was a good one. And uh, let it rip. Okay, check it out, guys. I just I just set this in there, that Neo Sphere. And uh, what I want you to see, if you can, is that it's floating. You can see. It's going to be hard to see. I should really put some gloves on right this moment. But this thing should float in there if I can get it to. Looks like it's trying to frost over. So uh, I'll just have to try to hold it in there. Oh, there it goes. Let's get a better shot. Okay, stay in there, little booger. I want to see you spin. Come on. Come on. I think I have to get it spinning. This may not work. It was a really good idea, though. What if I just get it cold? Hold up. Alright, let's try to get this pulse motor running. Let me get a glove, hold on. Alright. This is just so I can hold the dry ice a little bit longer. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Just trying. Stay in there. We are spinning. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Stay in there. Come on. So basically I'm creating an air bearing. If I could get this thing to spin. Oh boy, I lost it. Come on, get back here. You're kind of part of the experiment. Yeah. Ouch. Cold. Okay. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Time out. Alright guys, got the oscilloscope hooked up so I can see the RPM. I'm going to wipe this thing off. And, um, there we go. Come on. Come on. Got it spinning there for a second. Yeah. Earlier. The sphere is so freaking cold, frost, frosting over. Come on, stay in there. Ah. Come on. Come on. Oh, get out of there. Kitty, what you want? I'm playing. Come on. Let's try this instead. Where's my tube? Eh, lost it. Come on with the air bearing. I want to see this run. Yeah, I can't hold it. Take my glove off. Hold on. Probably edit some of this footage. It's not so good. some junk fell on the floor <laughs> jumped right out of there get on there dude it's hovering or maybe it's just jumping stay in there Come on. Keep it going. Ah. That was pretty good. Pretty good run time. Ah, it actually warmed up. Okay, go. Man, I don't know if it's hovering because of the dry ice or if it's hovering because it's jumping out of there, but it's hovering.
Oh yeah. Can you guys see that? It's we are cruising. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Run away, Spear! No! Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Oh come on! Really? Come on! Ah! Time out. It literally was spinning for like a half an hour. It's behind his cabinet. Hold on. Okay, guys, we gained some crap, so now it's got junk on it, which I'm not too happy about. Let's try this again. I can't believe how fast the thing was going. Come on, spin up. Ah, thing's flying off the table. If we get it going, that stuff will fly off there. Ah. Oh man, right in my resistors. Sorry if this is a long video, people, but if you want to be entertained, you're just going to have to wait. Alright. Oh, no, it broke. I just want to see it run. Just go. Come on. Ah. Well, there's one thing I learned. This thing's freaking nuts. I'm going to have to make another block. Time out. Alright, guys. While this one is chilling and making me a cubby, let's go ahead and get... Uh, Get this one out of here and see if it'll float. I don't remember if it's on steel or what they put it on, but let's get it out of here. There it is. Let's do it quick. Oh, that didn't hover. Ah. Nonetheless, what about on a sphere? I didn't do anything either. What about here? Whoa! Don't be so crazy. All right, well, that didn't work, but it sure was cool. We got it. frozen I'll tell you what I'll do I'll take this one and stick it in this cup that's a I don't even remember what that was it's a cold it's a I think it's a three-quarter no, that's a half that's a half inch Neo all right let's set back up for this motor all right let's try this again I'm gonna put some more dry ice in here just to keep it going keep it cold Look at that! Can you guys see that? Look how the look how the form this the uh, the ice is forming on there. It's like it's really hard to see. Anyway, let's get going. All right, there we go. Oh, come on, little Neo! Stay in the hole. Maybe I can hold it down with a piece of dry ice. Maybe that's what I need to do. Time out. All right, let's just hold it. Stay in there. You guys see that? Okay. Let's see if I can get it. I think the sensor might be having an issue getting so cold. It's jumping up to 8.33, so we're at, you know, it's, it's definitely hovering. Wish I could get it stable. Check out this smoke rolling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, time out. Okay, I got lucky. Stuck to some big piece of metal. See what you going. That was crazy. That thing was going across concrete, peeling off paint. That's awesome. Come on, you can do it. I saw it. I really wish this would stay in here just a little bit better. That would be okay with me. Still see that view pretty good. Come on, ow. Breeze burn. Ah. Oh man, more trash. Alright guys, I apologize for this horrible footage, but you know what? That's okay. You want to be entertained. You're just going to have to wait. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Come on. I'm only using one pole, so I have to get it spinning first. Otherwise, it would do it automatically. But since uh, since this star chalice coil only has one, and this dry ice only lasts a day, I kind of am uh, limited here. Man, I really want that to stay in there. Come on. The sensor's probably like ice cold by now. It jumps out of there right away. Come on. Yeah. You guys see the smoke coming out of there? Isn't that freaking awesome? can't tell me that is not cool to watch. Man, if it would steady out, it would go even faster. Now you tell me, is that a superconductor? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. There we go. Get up there. Come on, high speed, high speed. Just so you guys know, we're, we keep jumping between, uh, I see it hit 9 every once in a while, over 9 kilohertz, oh we hit 10, 10 kilohertz, come on, look at I'm wearing a hole in this stuff, that's what I'm talking about, and I don't care who you are, that's freaking cool. Look at that. You ever seen anybody use dry ice in a pulse motor? I haven't. Oh, 14! Wait, no, that's not right. It's probably just jumping around. Come on. Get with me. Oh, I broke in half. Come on, come on. It's kind of spinning funny, that's why it keeps slowing down and speeding up. Now that I can see it's frozen and smoking. Turn it so you can see it. Yeah, we definitely... We're definitely over 500,000. Every, every once in a while when it jumps up there. And we're going. And we're going. Run away. Run away. Run away. Alright. Let's do something new. That was awesome. Hey Mike. I found a way to keep my star chalice coil cold. Look. It's not melting. Hey. Dry ice. Kind of expensive but works. Okay guys, so I just took this Neosphere out. You can see it's frosted over. So what I'm gonna do is just try to fill this bottom up with dry ice. And uh, we'll make this our magnetic bearing. I mean, I'm sorry, not magnetic, but uh, free floating. Got my big coil, still double pulse motor. Let's see if we can get it going. I think we're gonna have to get inside. Take off. <laughs> well, let's just try this instead. How about this? I think I got something wrong in my circuit. Time out. All right, everybody. I had something wrong. Let's try it again. Kind of. I'm on the glass now. Let me get some more ice. Hold on. All right, I made a little pod. Can you see it? Let's see if we can get this spinning now. That's such a cool effect. Now that is actually floating on air. 
Well, actually, it's not air. It's CO2. But check it out. Try to zoom in for you. Is that not cool or what? I've never seen anything like this. It's fun. It's really neat to look at. That's great. Will a Neosphere spin faster cold? I don't know. We can try it. Check it out, it's frosted over. That's great. This is a half inch Neosphere, I believe. And we're at, well, we're gaining speed, but we're at over two kilo, two kilohertz. Yep, it's starting to defrost. All right, let's do something different. All right, one more time real quick. Now that the magnet's warmed up a little bit, see if we can get it to float better on top of this dry ice. There it goes. It is floating better. Now it's not frozen. And actually, I'm over the hole. And normally, I can't get this to run over the hole. Because it's the wrong direction, I believe. But we're running about the same over 2 kilohertz. Slowing down now. Why are you slowing down? Anyway, experiment with dry ice. Yeah, sorry. Double pulse motor, probably a dead battery. 12 volt dead battery. There you go. Floating on dry ice, it's an air bearing. CO2 bearing if you want. See how long it'll float. Unplugging power now. That's awesome. Stuff's probably vibrating in there. I wish these needle spheres were perfectly polished. It would work a little better. Yep, looks like it was dragging pretty good from the uh, from the freezing of the neo. All right, let's do some high voltage. Exp All right, when I was about 10 or 12, somewhere in that area, I took apart a TV. Granted, I took apart one before that, but this time I built this. This is actually a PC monitor. Uh, it's got a switch on the side. It's an old school monitor. Turn it on. You can hear it squealing. And uh, if you ask me, yes, this is dangerous. TDR. Uh, it's the high flat, high, high back. I'm sorry, flyback transformer. So let's see what high voltage does to dry ice. I've never tried this experiment. Let's set it up. All right. So I'm just going to take a piece of dry ice. And I'm just going to set it right there. Got a good view of that? Get a little closer. Let's get a little bit closer. There you go. Alright, I'm going to get these bent up where I think I want them. Um, let's try this. What do you think? It's a pretty good deal. I'll leave that one out. And uh, this is going to be my play lead. So here we go. Well, it's not jumping. It's not arcing. Which is pretty cool. It is kind of hovering. You see that? Can you guys see that? It's hovering over top of it like it's super cooling and heating at the same time. That's pretty cool. 
I really wish I could get it on top. Let me set it on something. Hold on. Let's try this. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to arc underneath and see if we can get something to happen with the dry ice. Let me turn the. You want me to kill the light? Let me do this. There you go. How's that? Focus okay? If anything, it'll melt some plastic. Well, dry ice and high voltage. There you go. If you've never seen it, now you have. I've never seen it. Check that out. Let me move the camera so you can see that a little better. It's like hovering over it. That's wild. It's almost like the the uh, the gas is coming off are allowing it to me expand my window here. It's really wild. Yeah, I'm burning the rubber, I know. And the plastic. That is cool. No, I don't recommend this. Yes, I've been doing this since I was little. My dad walked downstairs one time and there I was sitting with a bucket of water and a TV and I was pulling the flyback high voltage out and playing over top of the gallon bucket of water and uh, no it's not a good idea but uh, I literally was probably eight or younger I was a very young experimenter so uh, what else can we do with dry ice uh, let me think hold on I just remembered I was supposed to do water in this everybody or a few people have really been wanting me to try water and a pulse motor and a neosphere so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do water and a neosphere and a pulse motor for you guys and hopefully we can see something cool if not I'm gonna throw some dry ice in it I like dry ice okay what I have here is that glass dish I'm just gonna go get some water pour it in there and I got the pulse motor set up we're gonna let it rip dry ice and all alright can you guys see that okay I got this thing pointing down uh, like this so you can see what's going on and I'm gonna take some water Actually, let's make sure this thing runs first. You want to? Hold on. Let's see here. Go! Oh, yeah, we're running. Alright, we're hot. So, what I'm going to do is pour some water in this thing. Oh, man, you can't see anything. How about that? Did I know that was going to happen? Sure, I did. Alright, so here we go. See how I get going. Oh, man, it's like. Oh, man, this is bad. Look guys, it turned to ice. Now I can't even spin the Neo. Ah, I should have known better than that. Oh well. There's only one problem with this water. This hall sensor will fry. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely sure there's water getting against my knee. Come on. There it goes. We're running. Can you guys see it? Look, we're swirling. Frozen water. So look, that looks like it's throwing it up and over. Oh man, good thing this coil's covered in hot glue because we're getting water everywhere. Ah, all over my keyboard. Ah, all over my freaking stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Good idea. Threw all the water out, all over. Oh man. Awesome. Hold on, I gotta clean this up. What the heck? I'm not too concerned. I'm just kidding. Alright. So, there's your water experiment. Let's, uh. Let's get. There you go, now I'm just on ice. Wow. Can you guys see that? Can you hear it? You can only hear it. That's an ice bearing. There it goes. Alright, we're running at... Still under 2 kilohertz. Now we're over 2 kilohertz. This is a half inch Neo, by the way. 
There you go. If you ever wanted to create an ice bearing, I just did it. It is just, it's not really sitting on the dry ice, it's more on just the ice. There is some dry ice in there though. Yeah, hey, listen to that thing spin. Can you hear it alright? Maybe if I'm quiet. There's no power hooked up. Well, I, I lied. It's hooked up, but it's not energized. <laughs> That's great. I'm just going to wait till it stops. I know you can hear it. Might not be able to see it. Still spinning. I'm really sorry I'm wasting like a minute of everyone's time, but it's still spinning. Can you see it? Check out how smooth that is. That's it. See the hole it made. Just sitting in a cavity. Let's try a quarter inch in this little pod. Okay, everyone. Quarter inch. Neosphere. Oh, I unplugged the power. Time out. Powering up. There we go. Come on. It's frozen to the block of ice. Hold on. There we go. Go. Come on. I wish these Neos, if anybody finds any Neos, Neosphere magnets, Neodeniums that are much more smoother and like durable, let me know. I did find some 316s that I'll have to eventually get. They're like 47 cents. Just Google it. Stay in one spot. Bouncing around too much though. To actually uh, pick up some speed. It's over 3 kilohertz, which isn't that fast. Probably 200,000 RPM. Oh. Well, there you go. Now you've officially seen ice. And uh, Neo Spear Pulse Motor. And um, now we're just going to do water. Everybody wants to see water. We'll do water. There, it finally stopped. Um, okay. You wanted to see it. There it is. This is a quarter inch in water. Let me get my camera lower. Well, hope you can see this well enough, and uh, hope for your sake my electronics don't explode. But if they do, that's okay. Hooking up power, and the 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 magnets almost not strong enough to reach this far. So small of a magnet through the glass. Man, everybody's trying to get a hold of me today. Come on. Well, there you go. Um, it's just spinning in circles. I'm going to put a bigger one in here. Let's try something a little bit bigger. 
Okay, everyone. Half inch new sphere. You ready to throw some water? I ruin all my stuff. Okay, then. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy, yeah. Throw it out. Throw it out. Well, we're not splitting it, that's for sure. We are spinning it. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get this to stay there. Come on. Stay there. Take off. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. Try to get to a top view. I only got one hand, people. There's your meal spewing water. And electricity, which is not the best thing to do. Oh, cool, though. I gotta lean it because the water won't stay in there. Definitely slowing it down. That can't be good for my sensor. Let's see if I get it going again. By itself. Oh. Turbulent. Now, what happens if we enter a piece of dry ice? That's going to be a test. Ah, stay in there. Dry ice, where are you? There's a small piece. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that, guys? Look at it, it's creating bubbles. Can you see anything special? I don't see anything special. Except for some dry eyes. I'm surprised my chip hasn't fried yet. Yep, experiment day. It is. Just playing around. You gotta play around and have some fun. If you don't have fun, it ain't worth doing. It really is slow though. Thought it'd be faster than that. You're only at, uh, well, let's see here. Ah, they're big pulses. Oh, my sensor's all wet. That's gotta be good for it. I I don't even know who wanted to see that, but I know there's some people who wanted to see uh, water in a pulse motor like this, so I did, and I added a little fun. A little extra while I was at it. I wish I could get going faster. Maybe it's holding down an air bubble. Can you see that? And I'm going now. I really do wish I could go in faster. I don't know what the deal is. Alright. Cool. Alright, enough.
Let's go do something else with dry ice. <laughs> Alright guys, just for fun, I don't have this energized. I thought it'd be really cool to see a, uh, a rodent coil covered in the ice. Yeah! Well, that's what I'm talking about when I see a rodent coil. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Need some more water. Need a bigger cup. There's my newest project. Not really. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little full. I know. It's important here. <laughs> hmm. Well, guys and girls, since dry ice is not conductive, at least, I would think high voltage would jump across it if it was. Um, all my other fun experiments don't really, um, don't matter. Because I was going to do some cool stuff, but if it's not conductive, I can't run like 300 volt, like, you know, 30 cap bank into the thing. It just won't work. Won't work at all. So, uh, let's go blow up some more bottles. Okay, boys and girls, so, it's snowing outside, right? What do you do when it's snowing? Build snowman. So I built a very sad looking snowman and I'm going to blow him up because it's fun. Alright. This is what my videos used to look like. Alright, let's do this. There's my very, very sad snowman. It doesn't look like a snowman. It looks more like a pile of snow because it is. Let's go blow it up. Okay. Loading the animal. Now, it's always bad to put small pieces in here because the bottle explodes real quick. And that's what I got. So this could be real fun. But I got safety glasses on. So it's, it's fine. Right. Are we on? Let's do it. Go boom! <laughs> yes! Check it out guys, it was like a it was like an ice cannon. It wasn't loud at all. Bottle landed over there. Can you see it? Right there. That's a pretty good distance away. Like an ice cannon. Let's do it again. Okay, this time. I'm just gonna lightly cover it up so that you can see it blow up. Alright. Alright, ammo's loaded. Here it is. This one should be better. The other one blew the bottom out. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. <laughs> yes. Awesome. 
I know that wasn't very exciting, but that was a lot of snow. Check that out. You can't tell me that wasn't a lot of snow. That's awesome. It's hard to see, but there's an equator there. All right, I got one more little one. We'll just set it on top and watch it go. All right, load the ammo. Oh yeah. My hands are so cold I can't tell what's going on anymore. That's not a good thing. All right, got the ammo. Can you see it? <laughs> Barely. All right. Oh, and by the way, green bottles always work the best. It's like the plastic or something. Okay, here we go. It's cracking. Oh! <laughs> hey, did you guys... Oh, it just fell. You guys didn't see that. That was great. The wrapper just floated down real softly over here. Look at that crater, man. Just blew it up. Yeah, looks like the bottoms keep blowing out because they're too cold. See that? Blow it out. That's not that's not a good way to make dry ice bombs. Not cool. Alright. Well, let's go finish the job. Well, everyone, I'm cold. My hands are like ice because it was. And uh, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who watches my videos and uh, inspires me to keep going. It's a good thing. And uh, I just want to say cheers. Now we're going to finish the job. So let's finish it. Got me a little bit of water and a little bit of dry ice. Woo! Party time! All right. Yes. If you have never seen dry ice, it's pretty cool stuff. It's actually really cool stuff. Turn some lights on. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> wow. That's great. Great fun, people. Woo! Look how dense it is. We gotta just go to the ground. Great stuff. Alright, well, that's all I got for you. Now I'm going to go wind some abattoises and, uh, you know, hang out a little bit with myself until I gotta go get the family. Daycare. Yes. I'm gone. Peace. Have a good evening, everyone.